Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the People's Republic of Canada, Communist Canada. Communist Canada is slowly dominating the United States and they are inevitably falling to our communist boot. Uh, we're slowly pushing our way forward, so uh, let's unpause. In fact, let's have a quick pause and have a look at current wars. I want to see this, right? Canadian-American War. We've lost 52k, they've lost almost 200k. 99% participation is us. 1% is the Soviet Union. Good job, Soviet Union. Good job. They had 202 people die. I'm assuming that's like some bombers. I've got a tenth of the old divisions. Okay. So I now know that I definitely outnumber the United States. Didn't know before. Now I do. Okay. Onwards we go. I hope I don't have to beat the Philippines. The fate of Czechs... Oh, okay, we'll look at that in a second. Let's we'll have a look at the Philippines at the moment. Where are you? There we go. Oh, the Soviet Union are... Oh, they are doing something. They've invaded the Philippines. Good job, Soviet Union. I'm sorry I was trash talking. Well, you're still kind of useless. You sent three... You but... And you've even left that... At least you're doing something, okay? German troops have crossed into Bohemia and Moravia. Ostensibly to restore order in the regions in the wake of the collapsing Czechoslovakian government. In Prague, the occupying forces announced the creation of the Antonis Protectorate within the German Reich. The German support, Slovakia has been declared independent under the leadership of Josef Tiao. The nation of Czechoslovakia is no more. There we go. There is Slovakia. Bratislava. And, yeah, it's uh, fascist Slovakia. Oh, hello. Anyway, we're pushing forward today. I want you to uh, come around and chop them up. Uh, almost literally. You're going that way. So if you can... Split off to the side and then come from a different angle. Because you get a bonus from a different angle if you attack. Oh. Um... Make sure we get a multi-attack on there. Let's get you down here. Get a multi-attack going. Get you to cut them off. If we can cut them off and surround them, I'll be a lot quicker. Rather than just to fight them and constantly pushing them back. Oh, what's this? German Reich is justifying against... Oh, what the hell, Germany? This is going to be annoying. Germany, why are you justifying against me? Like, you, you don't have anything near me. There's no way you could declare war against me. This is silly. Bad Germany, stop it. Nobody likes you. Right, murder that one. Murder that one. All right, we got him. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna need to stop you. That's that's not allowed. No, no, like trying to flank me. That's that's forbidden. That is forbidden. Okay, we got delay. Uh, we're going to go for mobile defense, yeah. We're just going to keep going down the superior firepower tree. The superior firepower tree. There we go. It's surprisingly hard to say. How are we doing elsewise? Not bad. Okay. We're going to have to start expanding our frontier in a minute because uh, they are trying to flank us. So, front line. There we go. More armament effort. Very much appreciated. And I believe... Done. So let's go for the extra research slots. I know I kind of ignored them after I was like, oh crap, we're going to war. And I was like desperately trying to do other things because I needed the tech. But it paid off. Paid off. We're actually winning pretty hard now.
There we go. Come on, horsey. If the cavalry could come over here, that'd be grand. Infantry, you can attack. Alright, let's join in and push them back further. So what I ideally want to do is manage to push out like there. There. And then there. Yeah, so that will just chop that off a little bit. Reduce the corner. And if I can have you come up here. That'll help as well. Just reduce the frontline profile. Everyone attack from like a little different angle. That should be good. Right, decryption. That's going to give us a nice bonus, hopefully. Yeah, they don't have any encryption. Sweet. Sneezing time? No, not sneezing time. Come on, decide. Uh, radio? Meh. Yeah, concentrate on industry. It's time to think about longer goals, especially since Germany is justifying against us. God damn it, Germany. Like, why? Why would you be justifying against us? You can't even really get to us. You don't even have, like, a proper naval force. Like, why, why would you... The French commune are probably going to get on the side of us. I'm going to start improving relations. Come on, French commune. You know you love us. And we're boosting China, aren't we? Ooh, the occupation's pretty... Wow, that's a lot. Uh, China, how are you doing? Becoming more and more communist. We'll get there eventually. Oh, Canada's looking good. I mean, you can just call me Canada. But... Let's just march everyone a little bit forwards. Just to push the limit. Come on, when are you going to give in? I know it's 70% and we own half the area, but we ha own way more than half the provinces because it's much denser over here than it is over here. So you've got to be giving in soon. Uh, we should probably get... I mean, you know, people are probably saying MPs, but I don't have the forces to be able to make MPs right now. So I'm going to say, like, maintenance 2 would help. I don't know, there's so many things to be done right now. Alright, push. Push. Split up and do that. Uh, are we still training people? Yeah. Obviously, equipment's going to the people on the front line first, which is fine. Which is why our training is very slow right now. Plus, we kind of let our industry go to the wolves. Which is fine. Let's attack from that direction. Attack from this direction. Nice. Front line is rolling forwards quite steadily. Which, you know, I obviously approve of. They have got all my ports now. Yeah. We'll roll them up. Alright. Uh, are we okay to go slightly faster? Yeah. Extra research slot. Sweet. Ooh. Can I get this one? Yeah. Another extra research slot. We'll be up to five soon. It's like luxury. Uh, I've got the tank. Still ahead of time on that. We could start thinking about air. I'm going to get radio. I think it's time. Got to start planning for the future now.
And yeah, we've been sabotaged so hard. Yes! There we go. That is it. Uh, thank you, Mobile Defense. Right, well, what do I want? <laughs> Let's start with, uh, pretty much everything. I've got to leave enough that the Soviet Union can pick something up, but... If they pick up anything off mainland USA, I will be annoyed. They shouldn't grab anything now that it's, like, surrounded. In theory. They might try and puppet someone, though, and I'll, I'll be so annoyed if they actually do try and puppet someone. Because, like, I did all the effort over here. They did very little work. Yes! I can get everything. Can I get Alaska? Yes! What's can I get? Yes. Oh, yeah, Panama Canal. Yes! Everyone needs a Panama Canal. It's very important. Oh, no! I can't take all states. Okay, what can I not take? I mean, I'm okay with not taking some. Can't take that. Can't really take that. Okay. A few of the islands. Sure. There's nothing left. Someone grab the states down here? What did, like, anyone else grab? Yeah, those islands are now the United States as a puppet government. That's very annoying, Soviet Union. They're not meant to exist anymore. But now, like, Samoa, Line Islands, and Phoenix Island, uh, those are now the United States. Fine. There's nothing else left. I should just hit done. Done. I took 50 states. The Communist States of America was puppeted. People's Republic of Canada. Also, why is there still a line there? It's like, oh, here is cold, here is hot, here is cold, here is... It's not exactly how Canada works. I mean, I know Canada's cold, but it shouldn't really be such an obvious line. Because everyone knows that there is no Canada. Oh my god. Do I have these? Oh no, the Communist States of America have them? God damn it, Communist States of America. Fine, fine. Canadian American War. In total, we lost 55k. Oh no, it's still going on. Because the Philippines are still in the war. <laughs> oh. Lol. Okay. I think we've got to start on aircraft. Hurricanes it is. How much repairing do we have to do? <laughs> I'm gonna weep tears of blood. That's gonna take us a while. However, we do have a lot of naval dockyards, and everything starts at tier one. Oh goody. At least we own the Panama Canal, that is going to be helpful. Uh, I'm going to start building all of my stuff here. New Orleans. Nothing bad's ever going to happen there, so yeah, I'd like to start uh, pumping out those. We'll pump out, what, ten? Smallish neighbor to begin with. I guess we should split you into two and have an east and west coast defense. No, we should we should have a front line against Mexico. You never know where Mexico's you know been. Don't know what they're gonna do next. Hi, do you wanna join? You know. Comatern? Uh, stop improving relations. There we go. It's not like we need much more. French Commune. Uh, Italy, I'm assuming... Have you gone Axis? No faction yet? Okay. There you go. Soviet Russia got that. You still pushing? I'm still thinking about it. I've actually participated in the war against the Philippines, which is lovely. And I guess I could send troops over there to do like an amphibious landing or something. 
They have got a port, but it is like their capital, so it's going to be well defended. Yeah. I can do a landing here. Might take me a while to get over there. I technically do have, like, territory that will allow me to get there, which is why I wanted these islands. Because it allowed me to hop, skip, and jump all the way over there, but... We'll see how well they perform. How do you in China? Becoming more communist. We'll get there eventually. Oh, Pips Republic Canada. So good. Although I kind of wish I didn't get um, Alaska now, so that the name would be a bit more central. Also, People's Republic of Canada is kind of long. We're just a PRC. Which sounds familiar because that's People's Republic of China. Hmm. Well, we were there first, technically, now. No one's guaranteeing you anymore. Sure. Ooh, we can also start messing around divisions. <gasps> right, what else can we get here? Maintenance company. Yeah, sure, get a maintenance company. And we'll probably start splitting out a proper tank division. In fact, we can start splitting out a proper tank division now. Because technically we have the tanks. Because I'll just take them off here. So I'll remove the tank. Save. And then we've got, like, loads of tanks stockpiled. And then we'll go... Um... Dupl can I just go new? I wish you could just go new. Duplicate. Why does it cost me five to remove? Reset. Uh, you know what? Let's edit. No, it still costs five to remove. Edit. Remove. Light tank. Oh, okay, you can do that for cheapsies. Um, let's go four light tanks. I'll give you support artillery. Engineer company. Maintenance company. Mm -hmm. Do we want a recon company? It gives us movement. Yeah, we'll go for that. I want you to be nice and fast. This is what I will upgrade eventually to either be a proper motorized uh, mechanized force or a medium tank force. We'll save you. And we should start producing. Uh, oh, let's change where you're going to be. Tri Wait, oh, I can't build them there because it's not my... Uh. Fine. Uh, let's also train cavalry militia. Oh, I didn't save. I changed. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to change the name. Edit. Armor. Brigade. Rename. Edit. And you're going to be... Uh, infantry. Brigade. Rename. I'm going to train you. I'm going to sit the same location. Manitoba. Oh, we're already training district militia. Hmm. Uh, that's fine. We'll just train two more of you. And then I will... Really, I've only got enough for... Hmm. You think people will return their light tanks? Oh, well. We'll make you, what, four? What are we waiting for? Got the infantry equipment. Got that. We got that. Got the manpower. Got the light tanks. Oh, we need support equipment. That's what we're waiting for. That's why uh, the tanks taking a while. Okay, and we can get four, and then it's taking time. Okay, sure. We'll build four. Lots of four then. And then we'll also start building infantry. And I will train eight at a time. And we'll do four lots of eight. Noticeably, our manpower hasn't gone up much because you don't get as much manpower from places you've taken over, which is kind of annoying. Um, somewhat understandable, but still kind of annoying. So manpower is going to be a big issue for us because our real manpower comes from Canada, which is always going to be very, very low. Yeah. Right, um, are we good to... Yeah, we need more equipment, isn't it? So let's just check the equipment. 
Yeah, we need a lot more. And you're producing four a day, which means you were done in like 30 days. Um, I'm just going to reallocate the infantry equipment so that we can get more support equipment being done because support equipment needs to be done right now. It's what we need for our tank units. I mean, also they need train, but... Wow. That is a big navy, Communist America. Don't worry. You'll be off soon. Ooh, wait. Have we got tanks? We've got tanks. They automatically upgraded themselves. Yes. I'm so pleased about that. I'm so very pleased about that. Makes me happy. We'll also start researching MPs and getting ourselves some MP units. Haha, <laughs> the Panama Canal. German right claims Memel. Ooh. Lithuania is given into Russian ultimatum and they just surrendered it. Interpommon. Ostprusen. There's Memel. Yeah, fair enough. Danzig's going to be an interesting one. It's Danzig or Bust next in their focus tree. But I've been Andrew Lizzie. If you have enjoyed, please don't like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. We have beaten the United States. They sort of exist as the Communist States of America, but they only exist on a few islands, so they don't really count. Uh, next, I think the plan is to invade Mexico and see what comes of that. What about Cuba? We can invade Cuba as well. We've got a lot of catching up to do because I did uh, ignore the uh, extra research slots I was kind of really looking forward to because I desperately needed to make sure that our industry worked because... The fighting against the U.S. was a little bit iffy. There was a there was a swing period around here where it was just everything needed to be done, and then we managed to push it. And I was like, we need to keep momentum because I don't know how fast we're producing units. Turned out they weren't producing units very fast. They just couldn't get through their uh, important tech tree stuff fast enough. But for now, if you liked, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you have any feedback about the amazing destruction in the United States and what this means to the people of Canada, please leave it below. But until next time, stay shiny.